Hi everybody, um, I just want to show you a really simple, useful experiment you can do on the topic of heat energy um, at sort of key stage 3 type level. This is about conduction. So essentially it's going to be about uh, the pathway of heating by particles. So I'll set the experiment up and then talk about an explanation of it. Now to do this you're going to need a Bunsen burner, I've got it on a safety flame here. You're going to need a, a tripod, obviously heat proof mat. Um, you're going to need three metal rods. I've got, I think, steel, brass, and copper here, all the same, the same length. Um, you're going to need some drawing pins, and the drawing pins need a little bit of Vaseline smidging on them on the end there. Hopefully you can just see the, the Vaseline there. So I've got my, my tub of Vaseline here um, to enable me to do that, you know, just a blob on the finger to do. And I've got some tongs to deal with hot things, I've got a stopwatch as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to balance my three my three rods on my tripod like this and I'm going to arrange it so that they all get heated at the same time in the same way so I'm straightening that one out it's a bit bent so there it goes so I'm going to put them so that all three of them have their their points all together so if I just show you how I'm doing that I'm arranging them so that um, you know the pointy bit uh, of a triangle if you like is it going to be in the flame at the top there and with them spread out underneath so here I go like that. I'm then going to affix the uh, drawing pin with the smidge of Vaseline onto the end. So there it is on my copper one. You'll see that will stick. Here is my um, steel one. Hopefully that will stick too. There it goes. And then here's my brass one over here. There it is. And then I'm going to position my rods in the flame. Now to heat, I need to switch from a um, a, a, a safety flame to a, to a roaring flame. There it goes. Um, you see I've got my goggles on by the way to do this experiment. There they go in there. And um, just I can, I can kind of move these just to adjust their position to make sure they're all accurate at the same time. Now what I also want to do now is start the stopwatch. So I can time how long it takes for the heat energy um, to make its way all the way down these rods to the end and when it gets there hopefully it's going to melt the Vaseline and the drawing pin is going to fall off and I'm going to see which of these metals is the best conductor. So I'll try and hold that there. Now in terms of thinking about why and how the heat energy gets through, remember energy doesn't tell you why. I've got this, um, this model, particle model here, a wobbly solid model if you like. It's got some particles, um, plastic bits with springs in between. So what I'm going to be saying is to the kids that obviously as the as the heat energy um, in the flame, store of heat energy in the flame is passed on to the metal, that causes the, the particles of the metal to, to vibrate. And when one vibrates, they're all linked together by chemical bonds, that causes the others to vibrate as well. And gradually that vibration gets passed on through the whole metal. Now obviously in metals there are free electrons as well, and those free electrons will also um, allow the heat energy. Right, there we go. So copper was first. That was at 1 minute 7 seconds. It took 1 minute 7 seconds for the copper, uh, for the heat energy, to go by the pathway of heating by particles through to the end. I wonder which one will be next. Will it be steel or will it be brass? I'm not sure. Let's wait and see. So 1 minute 24 seconds still on the clock. Let's see how that goes. I think you can probably guess which one it's going to be, hopefully, if you know anything about, about heating of metals. You can see that, I don't know if you can see, but the metals are getting very hot over this end. They're starting to glow red in the flame. That's absolutely fine. That's what they do. The copper is the best conductor of these three, three metals. Up to 1 minute 50 seconds. Hopefully, one of these should be dropping off now any minute. This is a good experiment to do with kids. This wouldn't be a demonstration. I'd be doing this as a full class practical with the kids, pretty much. So you can probably just feel along if you're careful and just see where the heat's got to. If I just move my finger along here. Oh, yeah, that's very hot just there. And about there. Yeah, it's not, it's quite warm there. So the heat's probably got to about here by now. So it should be nearly there. With this one, I can touch along it just very carefully. You can probably feel, yeah, that's still cool to the touch in the middle there. So the heat energy's got to about 
hear the vibration of the particles with the brass rod, but with the steel rod, not so much. I can still easily put my finger on it right in the middle there. So that one's definitely going to be the slowest to conduct. Copper was the quickest. Brass is going to be in the middle. I'm going to cut this experiment short now because um, it will go on for a while, but the students would obviously write down their results in a table and we will be able to compare them. Okay, so hope that was useful for you. Thanks for watching.